So why have we established research institutes? Well, it's part of our strong heritage and our commitment to continue to lead world-changing research and to provide research-inspired education to our students. We're looking to build further on our tremendous REF results and on our areas of research excellence. Just a reminder, our 10-year research strategy states that we'll create an inclusive and enabling research environment that delivers world-leading research that transforms lives. The aims of our research strategy are that we'll, we'll foster disciplinary and interdisciplinary research excellence, particularly in our areas of distinctive strength, that we'll optimise the impact of our research and ensure that it creates positive change in economies, culture, communities and global society, that we'll drive ambitious innovation and enterprise, drawing on our world-leading research strengths to boost productivity, jobs and well-being, and arguably, most importantly, that we'll nurture the next generation of researchers to become world leaders in their field. So in line with our strategy, over the coming months, we're going to be launching five new research institutes to the university community, with an external launch taking place in London in the autumn. So I'm pleased to announce that our five new research institutes are the Institute for Environmental Futures, led by Professor Heiko Balzer. This institute will bring together and enable interdisciplinary environmental research from across the university to consolidate our global reputation in the field, facilitate cross-disciplinary discussions and proposals, and enhance our ability to attract funding in order that we can solve the world's most pressing environmental problems. Then there's the Institute for Digital Culture, led by Professor Ross Parry. This institute will look at how we interact with culture and heritage today. The Digital Culture Institute will, will lead the global shift to socially transformative museums and heritage to transform how we tell our history. Partnership and collaboration are key. The institute's going to be working with the Arts Council England and the Smithsonian Institute, the world's largest museum, education and research complex. Then the Institute for Structural and Chemical Biology led by Professor John Schwabe. Our researchers in chemistry and biology are increasingly working together to improve our understanding of the human body and identify potential treatments for disease. Researchers from the Institute study the molecules that cause health and disease. This work increases our understanding of how life works and it also aims to identify potential new drugs and ensure that they reach the patient more quickly. The Institute for Precision Health, led by Professor Chris Breitling, is a joint venture between the University and the University Hospitals Leicester. Its vision is to uncover disease mechanisms, develop novel diagnostics and therapies, and translate these for both patient and societal benefits. The Institute will leverage clinical science, fundamental science, diagnostic expertise, data science, and artificial intelligence to advance early, accurate diagnosis and identify the best treatment and the best disease management tailored to individual patients. The Institute for Space, led by Professor Richard Ambrosi, is headquartered at Space Park Leicester. This institute aims to be a national focal point for new space-associated research methods and technologies in order to deliver novel products, services and scientific insights from big space data in areas including addressing global challenges, climate change, protecting the environment, managing natural resources, health, and achieving net zero by 2050. All of our institutes are interdisciplinary flagships that bring together researchers from many different disciplines to study a common theme or area of endeavor. The ambition is to engage as much of the university as possible in the different institutes. Undergraduates, postgraduate students, staff from across all of our colleges. The more engagement and breadth each institute has, the increased likelihood of success. The key thing about our institutes is that the sum should be greater than the parts. 
Our institutes should be ambitious in their visions to establish Leicester as a key player in each of the institute domains on both a national and a global level. So what's the overarching driver for establishing the research institutes and what's our vision for their impact? We want our institutes to grow, enhance and build critical mass in our world-changing research. Indeed, they're a pivotal mechanism for delivery of the world-changing research theme of our new university strategy. We also see the institutes as leveraging and strengthening productive relationships with key external partners and, and catalyzing the growth of our external research income. Most importantly, I am extraordinarily impressed by the vision, imagination and determination of our institute directors and leadership teams. And this is arguably the greatest reason for my optimism around the success of the new institutes. Indeed, our research institute directors, along with Claire Anderson, the director of our Institute for Advanced Studies, and Melanie Davis, the director of our Biomedical Research Centre, will be key to driving our future university research strategy. So how do you get involved and help the institutes as they go forward? Well, we're going to launch each of the institutes over the next few months, and we're providing further details as to the proposed vision and mission of each institute ahead of their formal launch in London in the autumn. Once you've heard about each of the institutes, in particular those that align most closely to your interests, there will be contact details for all inquiries, and I'm certain that the leadership teams will be absolutely delighted to hear from you. Thank you.